but I'm getting ready for work. I haven't wore my hair in a bun in forever, so I just need some molding. It is not staying in a bun. So put a little wrap on it. But um, anyways, today is Saturday. It is 7 a.m. I need to leave here by like, I don't know, maybe 7.45, like eight. Yeah. Anyways, so I've never started a vlog this late in the week, but it has literally been a week from hell. Um, Wednesday, my Instagram got hacked and I have yet to get it back and I'm completely freaking out. I don't, honestly, I don't think I'll ever get it back. Um, it's really frustrating because it's not really about, oh my gosh, like, it's not really like a, a bratty thing while I'm mad. I'm really mad because I finally feel like it's starting to be more of a consistent thing for me to content create and profit off of it. And like, you know, make a decent living. And it's like, of course someone hacks my Instagram in a week where I feel invincible and I feel really like confident about my, uh, you know, content creating career. Like, you know, being able to solely do this, you know? So it really sucks that that happened this week. Week, and I'm trying not to let it affect me too much. So today I'm not working in the salon. I'm actually working on set. Um, when I don't, when I don't um, take clients on the weekend, I either do set makeup or. Um, bridal makeup if I'm not like actively in the salon so um, yeah today and tomorrow I'm booked to be the lead on set for this photo shoot um, thing about working on set sometimes they take a while to get back to you if you know you know sometimes they're like I don't really put them on the schedule until they like send me payment, like a deposit basically. So they didn't send their deposit until a few days ago. So I told, I had it off, but I didn't have it off the whole day. So I told this um, client of mine that I would take them. So I text him and I'm like, hey, um, this was like on Tuesday and I was like, hey, I wouldn't be able to come in the salon and do, you know, your girlfriend's makeup anymore. Um, you know, but I can get someone else to come in and, you know, do her makeup, blah, blah, blah. Like, or, you know, go send her somewhere else. He texts me and he's like, no. Never got that text before. I never had a, anyone tell me like, oh no, you're doing my makeup. And then he's like, um, Today is a big day. I mean, that's going to be a big day for her. Um, you know, I was like, shit, okay. And then he sent like the ring emojis. So I was like, shit. I don't know why I have such a sensitive, um, I do not know why I have like a sensitive like heart when it comes to brides and like, engagements and surprises and whatnot so <laughs> I was like okay well let me talk to this director and see if um see if I can work something out <sighs> and I've worked with this company before or whatever so um they're like on the younger side they're not like super old and in their way or anything like that so i'm like okay let me see i'm sure there's some wiggle room or whatever he's like please thank you very appreciative 
go talk to the girl. And she said, oh, that's fine. You know, you can step out, you know, for an hour. Or not an hour. She said, you can step out, whatever. I don't think they know how long. But, um, and I also got the call sheet and everything. So, um, it's actually like a few minutes like up the street. It's like where we're filming at and where my salon is. Um, it's pretty close. So, um, so yeah. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I just need to step out for a few. I will be right back and I will work through lunch because the way like sets pay you, they pay you like per day. So, um, it's very hard to do any bookings. So I usually don't. And thankfully my books weren't open because this has been pending for a while. So, um, so yeah. It goes in theme of the week, so I don't know how I'm going. Like, hopefully I'm not taking forever on this girl. Like, so for about, I think her appointment's at like 10. So, um, but yeah, that goes with the theme of the week. Chaos and craziness. I do not, I don't know. I do not know how I'm going to get this done but I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try to just do my best today um, no matter what because um, yeah I'm blessed I'm still blessed to have opportunities even if they're not um, you know influencer blessings you know so I'm trying to just like you know I'm trying not to like give up on like influencing or anything like that that's why like yesterday i was like fuck you know vlogging i'm, I'm so aggravated i've been like really i've been on here for like 12 minutes i promise i'm gonna like finish up but yesterday i was like you know what i'm not gonna give up like it's just instagram app other platforms that people love me on and stuff like that i don't know what inclined me to wear this one shoulder today but just feeling a little a little extra i guess I'm wearing the Skims strapless bra underneath. Excuse me. And then I'm wearing this Hermes. Remember I got this from that hotel. And then you can put a watch on because my hand is kind of bare. But um, I need a little mascara. Hmm. This is probably the nicest I've ever looked on set. The director's probably gonna be like, well, what happened to you? Depression. I'm just kidding. Oh, um, I don't know. But I feel cute in these shoes. So yeah, so a part of me wants to just put a sweater on to cover up all this stuff. Oh, I knew today was gonna be hectic. So I bought some more creamer for the coffee machine at the salon. And I got some frozen breakfast sandwiches so I can have me a little something to eat when I get there. Because I knew today was going to be crazy and I just wanted to limit how many like crazy things I had to do in the morning. Or if like I had to make breakfast and stuff like that. So I did do that for myself. So I'm on my way to the salon to go pick up my two cases of makeup. Um, I also got to get some other things. For work or whatever yesterday some eyeliners eye patches like little stuff like that that i was just out of so yeah i'm on my way to work i do feel really cute though i feel really really cute actually like extra cute for work because normally like i'm not that extra cute for work um what's going on tomorrow oh so tomorrow i did another tomorrow will be like another kind of like hectic day um we don't start filming until 12. Well, call time is not until 12, but I have an appointment at 9 a.m. at the salon. So I was thinking, I was like, ooh, I can like sleep in and get brunch tomorrow. But then I was like, actually, no, I wouldn't be able to do any of that. <laughs> well, I guess I can like do her makeup and then go get like some brunch and then like go to work. But tomorrow's gonna be a little, not a little, I don't know. Tomorrow's gonna be cool. Tomorrow's gonna be more chill. Like, I'm just like, I just don't do stuff like this. Like, I don't like say that like I don't take bridal clients and then go run and do someone else and then come back like you know what I'm saying like unless like it's on the schedule like I don't mind like okay 
we gotta go do a bride or something and then she's like okay well I want touch-ups later like so come back in like two three hours okay like maybe I'll maybe book someone or whatever and like do a house call that's normal but this I just feel like I'm on someone else's clock Ooh. okay so these this is the breakfast thing that I got um and my coffee is brewing And honestly, I was like, oh my god, why am I eating like frozen breakfast? But then I was thinking about it, like really thinking about it. And most likely, this is what Starbucks is doing. Because think about it, they're not in the back making our breakfast sandwiches. We got some vendor or something. You know? So, yeah, let me see how long I put this in here for. And it's quick and easy. Let me see. Keep frozen, do not thaw, must be heated throughout, like, do not eat frozen thoroughly. Ingredients. One minute and 30 seconds. Alright, so this is our little makeup area. We're in like this like warehouse situation, which is typical. We got hair right here, and then wardrobe all right here. They're kind of putting it, we're kind of wrapping it away. We have two more looks. But. Okay, so I am home from work. Let me see what time is it. It's 8.41. I went to go do some errands for the other house. Meet the guy where... We'll meet the guy who is... I don't know, has like some company or whatever that's going to pack up the rest of the house. So I did that, which took like an hour. I hate... Honestly, I hate talking to anyone when I get off work. But I'm just... Uh -uh. My favorite thing to do when I get off of work is call my sister and talk shit. <laughs> um, we've been on the phone. Let's see. I called her when I left the um, the guy, whatever, for the house. I might give him a here tonight just to get fucked up. So, um... So yeah, I took a bath, stayed on the phone, and now I'm about to warm up leftovers. You said you're about to give Cortez a, a pedicure. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a pedicure tonight, cause his, his toes, god damn. No, uh, this is a TikTok uh, video? Yeah, and then like, they made a remix, they remixed his uh, interview, and uh, made a song out of it. And it's like, it's caught! <laughs> I need to watch it. Oh, God. All right, so I just finished a client. Um, I had, let me lock my door. The world is so shady. Um, today is Sunday. Um, what else? I didn't really put a lot of makeup on today because one, I'm going to be working outside which i've never done before ever i've never worked outside before so i don't know how this is gonna go but i'm gonna be open-minded the call sheet today um is for 12 so i'm gonna try to get as much work done i guess for the salon i have to do a few contracts and like edit them and things like that so i'm gonna make them some breakfast i guess the same thing i had yesterday that seems to hold me for a while. So I'm gonna make me some coffee and heat up, I guess, a breakfast sandwich. My client went great. She's actually um, a really good client of mine. Well, it was her first time coming, but she booked me for her wedding. Her, um, today was her bridal shower. So we did that and then we are just getting ready for all the wedding events. It's pretty fun. Her wedding's in the fall. So I think that's like my favorite weddings. I don't know why. I think the dark colors and everything. So she wants to do something smoky. Her wedding's in November, which is going to come back for her actual official trial. Today we did something very daytimey because, I mean, her shower's for 12. 
and I felt like, I don't know, today was not the day to do the trial. So, um, yeah, oh, I probably should have kept this closed. Ugh, anyways. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay put for a minute. I'm gonna go sanitize my stuff before I leave. I think, so today for the photo shoot, we're shooting in two different places. Um, one in Metairie and I think the other uptown. So, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, and that's not until 12, and it's only like 10, 15, so. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> I really wanted to sleep in today, I'm so exhausted, but tonight is probably gonna be rough. We're supposed to work from I think 12 to like 10 30 11 30. I don't know if that's gonna um I'm definitely gonna ask to leave <laughs> I don't know like I don't know I don't know if it's really gonna take that long because yesterday we were like two hours ahead of schedule oh I have oatmeal too I wonder if I should make some of that too should I I don't know I think I can make some, oat some oatmeal too. I have these like little things. I'm starving. Anyways, um, so yeah, I don't know if I don't know if the shoot is actually gonna take this long. I hope not. But <sighs> when I saw that call sheet this morning, I was like, Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I know I don't I don't do like set makeup. Like some people do this like every day. I personally cannot work on a set. I think it's crazy sometimes, but they do pay really well, so. Um, so it's definitely worth it, but it's just always like the weirdest like hours and stuff. So that's kind of, that's kind of the gist of today, what's going on. But I definitely have a lot of work to do. Working in these conditions. <laughs> we're supposed to be doing an outside scene, so don't know how that's gonna go now. I wonder if, like, where y'all even are. So, location numero two, <laughs> shooting in the dark. Come on. Yeah, they're gonna get. Oh, wow. And we keep flashing back to back to back. Now we have a real I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this mansion is so cute. Yeah. Girl, we're this is what time it is. And I'm getting released. So I'm about to pack up my things and head out. I'm so exhausted. I look so crazy. My makeup is separated so much because it's been on for literally over maybe like 17 hours. Yeah, because I got up. Yeah. I have survived. I'm so tired and I know I look hideous but um let's see <clears throat> so anyways I woke up today and I decided I'm gonna have a good week not a great week um that girl on TikTok is just so cute and funny but anyways I'm just gonna have a good week um I'm dealing, still dealing with this Instagram stuff, and um, I'm actually being connected to this guy that's helping me recover it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with it, but my dad and my sister called me this morning. They were checking on me, so I thought that was so sweet. And like, you know, you know, of course, like, you know, I know it's just Instagram, but like they know I've been working hard for this stuff. So it was just sweet that they called me and gave me some words of encouragement, woke me up. So that was sweet. So, um, yeah. And then I'm connected with this guy that's helping me or whatever. But I mean, we'll just see. I think, of course, I'm like annoyed and everything. But today I kind of woke up optimistic about it. So I feel good. I have my iPad. I'm about to start scheduling and start doing things, um, getting things together for this week. Um, 
but yeah just taking it easy today i don't want to do too much um today but i definitely want to get a jump start on things i slept in to about like 9 30 so i'm well rested that's for sure but i stayed up to like 2 a.m i don't know why like i got home and i was so exhausted i took a long bath um talked to my husband for a little bit and then I uh, just scrolled on TikTok just because at my mind I was starting to think about like things and just get annoyed. So I was like, let me just scroll for a little bit. All right, I have a game plan for today. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to go get some stuff for the salon. Well, stuff that I need for the state board walkthrough that I want to schedule for Thursday. So I'm going to go do that. I ordered what I need to order for state board. So now I should get a few things for the nail side and I can't put too much, but I don't think there's too much sunscreen. So I'm gonna go on errands. Of course, I'm using my Elta MD because it's not that they want else. It has like a little tint to it that you can hardly see. And then I think I wanna go to the mall and get some, I don't know, maybe go check out Zara and um, see what they have um because i have some interviews tomorrow tomorrow is a full day of interviews and i'm going to be shooting some content for the salon tomorrow today i don't know if i'll be able to shoot the tiktok that i want to because i'm still trying to find my way around the apartment and trying to find out ways to shoot aesthetically around here i mean it's a beautiful like apartment but it's just Okay, I need to pick up deodorant. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, so it's like a beautiful apartment, but it's just I'm so used to shooting in my house, which honestly, like my house, I, we still have our house. They start construction on it on Friday, so I'm wondering if I should, probably should just go and shoot my content in my bathroom. I just love my bathroom at my old place. Um, it was so beautiful and it was so bright and I never really had to worry about lighting, you know? So I'm thinking about maybe I might just go over there later on this week and shoot content there. Because it's for a skincare brand. And the second store of the day, I didn't vlog the first one, but this is the hair store for professionals. I'm getting some things for the salon. All right, so we are back in the salon. And I'm, girl, why am I in that? The same raggedy outfit that I, this is like my favorite, like most comfy outfit though. That, I think that's why I'm always in it. But let me show y'all what I got today at the nail place. So I'm preparing for state board. So you gotta get all the sterilized stuff. So I got that and I found these cute little fuzzies. I don't know, I just really like that. Some acetone, the little containers, and I got more polishes and more powders. Um, I got some, what is this? Acrylic. Um, some pedicure things, some more things for state board. Things that I'm sure they'll need, like knickers and this. And I found pink gloves. And some regular gloves, because I don't know if these are the ones that latex and powder thing. Yeah, I don't know, but um, I got a few different options. These are the sterilizing pouches. What is this? Some acrylic nail liquid. And I got these. And I also got this like OPI, I don't know, like nail thing. Cause I was complaining to the guys. I was like, oh my God, who's gonna like sit here and paint all this stuff? Like, cause I was getting all those nail polishes and then they're like, oh, we actually, I have these, you can have them. I'm like, oh, thanks. So obviously I don't have all those colors, but I'm sure one day I will. And then these are the 
little uh, pedicure things that I got. Um, I'm going to display that a lot better. I just want to take it all out and put it in there. Oh, and this is like the little sterilizing thing. Oh, and oh, let me show you what one of my clients got for me. She got me some Jo Malone. She's so sweet. And she actually, I did her makeup actually when she was getting engaged. This was the client, remember when I was like, um, I'm like rushing around trying to, the client that I went to on Saturday, in the middle of the day, not the middle, the morning, I snuck off set to go do her makeup for her now fiance and her, because I was like, I just love engagements. I love surprises and stuff, so um, yeah. She sent me a gift and I thought that was so sweet. Love her. I'm about to fill up this. Ooh, I have like a toothache all of a sudden now. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so I'm about to fill this up. Little barbicide things that you need for your stations. So I think a little barbicide goes in and then you put water. Because if you just put barbicide, it will literally melt your combs and stuff. So I'm about to do this, this is my last one. And then I'm gonna go to the grocery and I wanna meal prep for the week because I've definitely put on a few pounds. And this whole Instagram thing has not been helping, but yeah, so today's been pretty busy. But then I got some stuff from my station because I decided that I'm going to start doing more hair services. So, um, I just ended up picking a station that I'm going to set up at and things like that because I have four interviews tomorrow and I'm super excited. So I kind of want to claim my little spot first before um, they got here. Of course, I didn't take the big spot because you know, some sometimes like salons have like the bigger size or like the best. Every salon has like a good spot and I, and I didn't take the one that I personally think is like a really good spot. But So yeah, let me show y'all. I took this one in the corner. Well, I think this one does have really good lighting. So I did snag that one, but I left like these spacious ones free for the girls. But yeah. And then I filled up all the little barbicide things. I'm gonna put this here, put that here, and I'm gonna put this in my office. Push that last stop of the day. Groceries, and now we meal prep. Came home to these, the Ritz had sent them, I guess. It's kind of all crackly. But they sent us a little something or whatever. They have the worst customer service. I'm not even about to entertain this foolishness, but they appreciate the ropes. I'm always I'm almost finished. I uh, some TikTok salmon bowl. This is gonna be my taco bowl. I'm gonna put lettuce here. He has listened to his podcast. And I got some buffalo chicken wraps with some of the um, carrots. And I have the steak in the oven. I have one left. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but yeah. I got the potatoes left too. But I am tired. I think I'm gonna start running my bath now. I feel like I've been having something stuck in my eyeball all day. Like, you know, co that cotton, like white. I need to go get nice and cool down with the fridge. I also made some like snack packs with tuna and oranges and then I made some like little mini chicken boards. Just some, oh my god, I almost forgot to check in. Um, I'm doing interviews today. So far, so good. I think I have two really, really good candidates. So far, I've done two interviews and I have two left. And then I'm going to do some content for the salon. My sister's coming in for a color refresh and she's coming in for a haircut. So I'm going to do that for her also after all this. Um, however, it's been about 15 minutes. I did have a girl scheduled for noon, but she looks like she's not showing. Anyways, I had to delete some stuff on my, I need to get, y'all need to remind me, I need to get 
What is this? Oh. I need to get another freaking memory card. Like, this is so ghetto. But, um, yeah, so I guess I have a no-show today. So that means I have one more to go. And then I start work. But in the meantime, I think I may do, like, a little TikTok. Because I brought my wedding invites. And I never really did, like, an unboxing on TikTok. So I think I may do that. Okay, so today we are coloring Morgan's hair. Morgan, say hey to the vlog. Hello. Okay, so I found this color. We're just gonna put her chocolate, just like what she normally is. But she had some red pieces. So we're just gonna make it all one color. All right here. I look and bloated. Those lychee martinis have me fighting for my life. I'm just kidding. No, they honestly, like, thankfully I pulled the plug after the third one because I was like, you know, let me be responsible and go home. I have a shit ton of work to do. So, um, what am I gonna do today? Ooh, it is nine o'clock. And mm, I'm gonna go to the gym, um, do some cardio and some butt workouts. And I'm going to pack a little bag and go to my house to do some content. I have to, I have, I have like two things due tomorrow on the first. So I'm going to try to do all that. Well, not try. I actually have to do all that. I don't know why I waited this last minute. I usually don't when it comes to content. But like I was talking about yesterday, it's just been like hard trying to find where I'm going to do content in our apartment because it's a lot smaller and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go to the gym. I have to go to CarMax because I need to sell my car soon because I've just had it for so long and it's really just time for a new car anyways. I just, with so much going on, it's like, uh, it's like almost like when all your bills are due at the same time, but like for me, it's like all my responsibilities are due at the same time. So I need to go do that and then get started on my content. Ooh. But right now I'm about to have some green juice. So I got some greens. And oh, maybe a banana. Ooh. Maybe a banana here. Oh, I can feel like, oh, like when my period is coming. Like I don't know if it's gonna hit tonight or tomorrow, but oh stomach. Anyways. So Team three never gets easier. Mm. You know how those girls be like checking in on their runs on TikTok? How do y'all do it? Cause bitch, I'll be about to die. Alright, 
right, so I'm gonna eat my lunch. I think it needs to be warmed up a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm gonna warm this up some more. All right, so I have everything packed for the content that we're gonna shoot at the house. So this is the face brand that we're doing, and then <clears throat> this is the hair brand. So yep, yeah, this is it. And I like to separate everything. Okay, so I'm in my own. Oh my god, I miss. I miss. My, I miss shooting content here, and I miss my house. Like how just spacious it is. So um. Oh, being here is so good. Oh my gosh. Makes me feel way more comfortable. I was going to go to my mom's in film, but I feel like this is like easier because I know this area a lot better. So I found everything. Okay, real quick though. I'll be looking at like inspo to see what they're hosting also, the brand. So this is... So your skin's looking great and you finally got used to your starter gentle retinol. What do you do now? It's time to upgrade your retinol routine to the Kiehl's Retinol. Okay, so I think I have an idea of what I want to do. Um, okay. Okay, so I finished the hair video, um, literally sweating. My hair will not stay straight, but it is going to work. Um, remind me to charge people more for hair videos because trying to film in the shower is so hard and my phone was like freaking out with the whole like storage thing. I do not know why it says I don't have storage when I know that I do. It's so aggravating. I need a new phone. But um yeah, that was stressful. I'm about to wrap up with the Kiehl's um, nighttime skin routine. I was trying to wait. Yesterday, it got dark at like 5.30. Um, like around this time. Well, it's only 4, but I'm just like over it. And I really just want to um, go back home and just start editing. Because I still have to edit my TikTok that I filmed yesterday. So um, I'm about to wrap this up. And start editing because I gotta I gotta keep keep it going or whatever I put on 60 days Ooh, I am I am exhausted filming lately has been taking a lot longer because your girl I actually really get paid for this now and it really is kind of you know it's really cool you know so I, I definitely want to spend more time like in making sure that I'm getting the best kind of content also content that's not cheesy because i can literally probably put together a video in 20 minutes and like oh y'all i'm so hot filming in the bathroom is whew, that's the only thing about my bathroom at my house it does not like i don't know why it's just always so hot in there well i think maybe because of the shower but anyways i'm like sweating atop my thing but um yeah i just want to create content i hate i would never want to be like a cheesy content creator like I think like I just fear that I will one day become that and I just don't I want to make content that goes along with what I already post like lifestyle like cutesy like just that girl type stuff I just don't want to post cheesy shit so I definitely take more time putting together content and then on top of that I got like two like major not major but two really cool exciting brand deals coming up too that I was just like negotiating with while all this is happening and like I'm getting really excited but September looks like it's going to be a really cool month so I'm really excited about that um, and I'm just excited to do what I love doing and then also I'm waiting on just two more things to come in for state board I get to get that approved and then I will be open for business and yeah so I'm super excited. I got a lot of good stuff happening this week and next week. A lot of like big girl stuff. And what I'm realizing is no one is going to help me. This is my business. Same as like content creation. Like all this is on me. And it is like stressful when everything's kind of like due around the same time and kind of 
you know, happening all at once. But I think this morning, or yes, it was either yesterday or this morning, I just had a real realization that I can't really depend on anyone else to do this type of stuff. Like, it's all on me. Like, and I was thinking about, like, I know I have, like, my husband, and, like, he's so great with business and everything like that. And, like, he talks to me about the business part of things and you know like so he's really helpful with that but as far as like everything else it's like 100 percent on me because this is not his field and like same thing with my parents like my parents i like ask for like advice on everything and this is not their field either like they're kind of like my husband like they have these corporate businesses and not you know and it's this is different and you know a lot of things that they don't know they're just like googling it like along with me so lately I've just been realizing that a lot of my stuff is on me and I just need to buckle down and just get to it and not just think that someone else is gonna like help me or anything like that you know what I'm saying like I think like that not like I ever was depending on anyone I'm very independent but sometimes like I get stuck and sometimes I start feeling like I just start feeling like I don't know like I just stop like once I get like really like wor not worried but just kind of like uh, like a little flustered I kind of just like pause and I don't do anything about it and that is not good but I've just been I've just been really putting myself in the motion these days. Am I making sense? I don't know, but hopefully I am. For like new business owners, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like that feeling of not knowing what the freak to do next. Like that's like the thing. And like I multitasking. Multitasking is another thing. Oh my god, lately I've been multi multi multitasking the f out of my life. Like y'all, I am you know newly married. I I just moved. Um, I'm selling my house, renovating, renovating and selling my house, building a new home, um, opening a brand new business. Um, now I'm content creating like part time, officially as a job. So like I feel like I have so much going on in my life, and somehow, some way, I'm still kind of doing it. Like I'm still tending to my home and like you know I, I cook and you know and I clean and I you know tend to my man and like I tend to my business it's like I'm doing oh sorry this is embarrassing everyone's looking at me but I'm like doing so much at once and I just can't believe I'm doing it like it's just fucking crazy like not saying I'm doing everything like perfectly obviously like hence my conversation before this one okay so update I'm watching 60 Days In. I made a taco bowl. It's just a lettuce, salsa, and light sour cream. And turkey. Mm. But I did finish two TikTok videos. I uploaded one submitted the kills one to the brand and the other one I didn't do honestly I filmed it today but I'm getting kind of worried about my Instagram and that's what it's for but if I don't get my Instagram back I basically won't be able to do that brand deal so I kind of am only going to just well, I kind of just only wanted to edit things that I'm getting paid for So, yeah. Okay, right, so the guy that's helping me get my Instagram back, Instagram's asking for pictures and whatnot of me, but y'all, I'm so desperate at this point to get my Instagram back. I um, I'm about to just put my U part wig on because my ID has my long hair. That's that's another thing when you switch your hair up too much. I don't want people to think that I'm uh the hacker. I need to uh... And then I don't have like makeup on, so I don't know. So I'm just putting this deep wig on. I guess I'm just so desperate at this point just to get my shit back. It wouldn't be a bad idea to color this though. This is actually I only worn this like a few times. 
have like two U parts. One is like super, um, one is like super layered and stuff. And then this one is like a little long. But I haven't worn them in a while because, I don't know, I've just been feeling the bob lately. So, but my husband's in the group chat and he is about to be so weak right now. Because I told him last night, I'm like, girl, let me go put a wig on so these people think I'm, so these people know I'm it. Randomly going on a walk and I don't know, just feeling super cagey. I don't know if that's how I feel when I start doing like house chores, but um, uh, I hate vlogging in public sometimes. It's kind of weird. Anyways, so I walked down the street, got my nails done. It came out super cute. I told you I don't have a designated nail place until my place opens. Um, but now I'm just gonna go walk to one of my favorite restaurants after. And then I'll resume my house chores, but I was feeling a little like blah. So. Yeah, but it's nice and pretty. It's just hot as fuck, but as long as I'm not walking for like a long time. My favorite restaurant ever. Pesh. It's 10 o'clock at night, but guess what? I was on my salon's page and I was looking at the Kanye West tea because it's always so crazy. And guess what I see? Kanye West followed by one person. Who could that one person be? Me! I'm so happy, but the hacker told me earlier not to sign in, so I haven't signed in yet, but to see my Instagram up right now just has me so happy. And I'm happy. Up alone if you feel like a room with a battery. Come here. You feel All right. I have to cut all that. Okay, guys. Let's see. verification. <laughs> and the Larry Stop. sat here and told you. <laughs> Y'all, let's fix. thank the man that hired the hacker. He found the hacker for me. He always fix, right, you I'm, always fix everything. I'm deep in the street right there. Okay, sh okay, this is not like okay. Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Not just a good day. <laughs> Wait, do y'all follow? If y'all if y'all don't follow this girl on TikTok, that's gonna be weird because. She's Hi guys! So cute. I hope you had like a great Kaylin. day, not just a good day. It's Kylan here, and I have like got that. some apparel to show you so guys. Peppy. And I'll be watching her like, like stories. I not stories, but um, I'll be watching her videos, and she's just—I don't know—the energy just comes off on me. I don't know. Hmm. I feel better. All right. So today. I'm not gonna mess up my day because I have other things that are positive. I know y'all tired of seeing me in this um in this little PJ set, but it's so comfy, so comfy. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I have a few things to do this morning. I actually got a late start because I checked in with my Instagram girlies. We gotta check on with them. I know I've been hanging out with y'all. That doesn't mean I'm gonna leave y'all hanging just because my other friends came back around, but um, I checked in with them, told them what happened. I did not, cause you know a lot, you know what I was getting though? I was getting a lot of people that was hitting me up, like friends and like people hitting me up on my email and they're like, are you and Darvis okay? Like what's going on, bitch? Like I hate when people, like, I mean, I know people do that, but trust me y'all, y'all ain't gonna figure out from Instagram if things are going a little crazy. But anywho, um, that's, that we're just gonna put that behind us girls we're not gonna be mad at the hacker we're just gonna we're just gonna put it behind us 
So I made my green juice, had some banana toast, but I kind of switched up. I put like peanuts and I put some strawberry jam on it. So it was pretty good. Probably too many calories, but mm, don't really care about that. So today I have a bunch of things on my to-do list. And it was so funny because like, you know, you know when like, it's crazy when you schedule to get out of like your funk. I'm not saying I was in like a funk funk, but I was a little annoyed with that situation. And just with, I just have a lot of work to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of, and it's like, it's not, time is of the essence. So I just want to make sure that, you know, I leave myself a lot of time to do things. And I think the older I get, the more I'm realizing what I can do and what I can't do. Not saying I can't, but what makes sense sometimes. And like, you know, you can only push yourself to only do so much. And I feel like the past few months I've just been doing that. So I've been like, Taking it a little easy, but still trying to get things done. I don't know. I'm just trying to find my groove. That's like the hardest thing. Especially like with trying to prioritize content creation for brands and other things, you know? Pretty, you kind of see. The pink is the important stuff and it's the computer stuff. But I do not want to leave this house unless I have this stuff figured out. So I'm going to do this I'm about to get in the zone this is a lot of paperwork and I always dread paperwork because it is so fucking boring but I gave myself a little note um, today a lot of brain work today but you got this and i put no tiktoks no phone just get it done <laughs> somebody gotta talk to me like this so i'm about to get this done I was gonna vlog in CarMax, but it was so freaking awkward. But I got my appraisal. It didn't take as long as I thought it would, but I think that's because I brought my laptop and everything with me. But how stupid of me, I forgot to bring my license. But thankfully, like, they knew me. Like, the guy, his girlfriend follows me on social media, and she was like, um, he was like, oh, you did her makeup, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, thankfully. So when I pulled out my LA wallet, they weren't like, you know, chipping about it too hard. But anyways, so I got an appraisal. I'm ready to just sell my car. I think, I mean, I love my Jeep. Honestly, I'm going to be so spoiled. I'm, I'm, I'm so spoiled with my Jeep because I, I have such big tires and I live in New Orleans. And it's kind of like, I feel like this, I feel like if you're in New Orleans, I feel like this is the perfect car for you. But, oh wait, what is this? I don't even know what this is. They have this Carmax literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's so nice and new, but it's like in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm just ready to sell it. It's time, girls. Like, I've had this for three years. I bought it cash, so it's pretty easy and everything. Like, I mean, financially, so. But I'm definitely ready for something else. Is this a... Okay, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I should have just stuck with my GPS. But anyways, it's just time for a new car, girls. And I have my eyes on two cars, actually. Um, and I'm excited, but I'm also nervous to have like a luxury vehicle. Like I'm, I'm think I'm at the age and I'm responsible enough, honestly, to have a luxury vehicle. Everybody that I've like, 
everybody that I kind of know, they're kind of like, I mean, oh, why don't you have like a Range Rover? Why don't you have a Mercedes? Why don't you have like a G-Wagon? So like that, honestly, like, it's not that I can't afford it or anything like that. And that's not like a flex or anything. Like That's not like what I'm saying, but it's just one of those things like, I'm really just not responsible like with cars. Like y'all be hearing me in the potholes. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't even want, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really one of those things. It's kind of like, and this car has just been so easy. Like it's a Wrangler, it's my baby. And it's kind of cool, you know? my stuff out the car but now I'm just more I'm more like sleek and I'm just more grown and I feel like I'm just ready for my grown bitch car you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna sell this car I'm just gonna sell my baby um I was gonna take the wrap off her because the wrap is so like if you know you know like my wrap is so dingy and so old I got it like it's a black jeep and then when I got it I loved it because I have like the black rims and everything and it's like jacked up and you know but I was just like, oh, I just want something different or whatever. And I think wrap was like popular at one point. I mean, it still is, but so I got it wrapped like this matte green and it was cute, but you know, wrap has really put only been in your car for like a year or so. It's been in my car for like three years. So yeah, you can guess what the outside of my car looks like. It looks crazy, but my, um, my paint underneath is like perfect. I haven't scratched my car, which is nice. Oh my gosh. My baby is in. Y'all don't know how long I've been watching new pots and pans, like aesthetic ones, so I can make like cuter videos. And I forgot to put them on my wedding, wedding registry, so I ordered it last week and. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. And they're all non stick. Oh my gosh. And y'all, I brought. I just got back from the grocery and I brought the chicken marsala to make for dinner. So this is just perfect, perfect. Oh, like just, oh my gosh. I didn't want to take it out because I'm like, I actually use my pots and pans. So, woo. Let me take a little aesthetic picture since I'm back on the gram. <laughs> oh, what up? Okay, look at me being professional. <laughs> Getting my tripod. All right, I'm a little buzzed because it took me three tries to get it right, but I finally got the coconut, what is this? I finally got the coconut cream margarita together. Mm. So good, so good. Okay. So I'm a little buzzed because it took me a while to get this recipe together for the coconut cream um, margarita. I found this recipe on TikTok, but they don't give me like what to put in it. And then the ones I found on Google, I tried those and it was like too tart. So I don't know. You just got to play around with it and then it, it gets there. But I've toasted some coconut flakes. I didn't have agave, so I used honey. And then you use the coconut cream. And when you taste it, you're like, dang, it is so sweet. But honestly, when you put it in with the tequila and like everything else, I feel like you need like a little bit more because it kind of like makes the sweetness go away. But I don't know. Because I feel like when I taste margaritas, it's kind of like, I don't know. Like if I have margaritas, I can do like one or two. Like I can't do anything more than that because it's just too much sugar at that point, but it makes it more enjoyable when they're like a little sweeter. I didn't want to get fresh lime, so I got the sweetened lime juice. I see bartenders use this all the time anyways, because whatever. And then I got the Casamigos, because my, why I always want to say fiance, but he loves the Casamigos, so that's why I got this one. Um, and of course, like I get all this stuff and I go to the grocery and I come home and i'm like okay well i'm gonna cook a fire dinner or whatever and i already did dinner and then i wanted to try this other recipe on tiktok that i saw for oatmeal cream pies and him and i both love little debbie snacks like they're so good but it was like a healthier version so i got all the stuff to get that too and then i got something to make chicken marsala i don't think y'all are familiar with that but it's a really good dish um so and then it's an easy dish i didn't want something that if i'm doing like trying to make a new drink and then try to try a new dessert like i don't want to vacation oh, yeah. 
six o'clock. You <laughs> set your be home a little later. Ah. Now, now, now. I'm never gonna rest until I get this figured out. Hold this one back if you're gonna do it right. At the salon, happy Saturday. I actually did not vlog when I got here or this morning because I was rushing. I did not want to get out of bed, but I don't know. I'm just always like, I don't know. When I, when my period comes, I just, it's just harder and harder every time. I do not know why, but anyways. So we wrapped up hair and makeup. It was a hair and makeup bridal trial. It was really fun because we got to try like, oops, we got to try like a bunch of different, I think I got some more lashes. Yeah, I got some more lashes. My more dramatic curls. So I like to get my lashes from Amazon. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and organize this a little bit more. But I'm really just tired. I need to take um, Brody, my dog, to the groomers. And when I was dyeing my sister's hair, I got a freaking, those marks are all dye. I do not know how it got there, but the, the professional thing is supposed to come on, I see I tried to like get it and I put like alcohol on the floor, it was not, it's not working. Um, so I do not know. I do not know what I'm gonna do about that. I'm gonna talk to him about that this evening. My new license came in the mail. Boom. Wait, I didn't even show y'all. Look at my like homemade, homemade oatmeal cream pies. They came out really good last night. I'm gonna like tweak it a little bit more because I need to learn how to get the perfect round cookie, but they came out really good. <laughs> this is the second time. And fun fact. Okay, so this is why you do not drink and bake. Look at me. It is like raining outside, it's storming. We're almost taking a nap, but anyways. Come on. Oh. So y'all wouldn't believe what happened. So when I'm when I was drinking or whatever, I guess I got really lit off the coconut uh, margaritas. Uh, why did I put three fourth cup? Or I put like three and three fourth cup. I don't know, but I put a crap ton of baking soda. I don't know if y'all saw that when I was doing it. I put a crap ton of baking soda because I was like, why are these coming out black? Like that just makes no sense. Like they were in the they were in the oven for no more than like 11 minutes and they were like black and like went all over the place. So anyways, that's what happened with them. So I tried it again. I was like, there's just no way. And then when I went to go measure everything out, I'm like, I was supposed to put a smidge of baking soda and I still feel like I put too much because they kind of spread a little bit. I don't know if that makes them spread, but they spread a lot. And I saw on TikTok, I wish I would have saw this video. You put a cup on top and you like put it, roll it in a circle and they kind of makes it more circle-ish or whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna give these a try because I love Debbie snacks. And if I can make them at home, make them at home, that um that's a lot better for me but yeah that's what happened with them last night i went to take me a little nap i'm really tired watch chop kitchen and just relax it's like so rainy in new orleans i just dropped my dog off to go get groomed and he's not gonna be ready for like another two hours so i just came back home i don't really feel like doing anything today my stomach hurts Finally made it to Sunday. So I did have a client this morning, but I forgot to vlog that because I mean it's just the same thing. It was just a hair and makeup for a photo shoot. And now we're gonna go take a stroll, get some drinks, do some Sunday fun day things. I don't know. I definitely need to get out this. Get out this house, do something fun. So we'll see what New Orleans has to offer on this Sunday.
Oh, just, like, I would talk to them all the time then. Just, like, the little boy, they have this, like, they talk exactly like, like, people who are, like, talk to them. I don't know. They live in such a place. This is really good. This is really good, Mario. And it seems like she's waiting for another, uh, ice cream. You want to try? You would like this baby cheddar. This is very sweet, that's all. the little cardio session I had. <clears throat> I don't know why, but cardio just feels so much better after a day of drinking. So, yeah, I'm looking for my keys. Where, oh, where could they be? Lord. Probably, of course, I lost in the tote. <clears throat> But yeah, so I'm about to go and get stuff to meal prep. But honestly, I think when I get back, I want to start editing this vlog. So, oh, I need Lashville. Anyways, um, I will see y'all next week. Because maybe I'll just start vlogging for like the next week or something like that. I feel like, yeah, because this is a lot of editing, I feel like. I'm about to start, I have to do. I'm going to start, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see y'all next week. Thank you so much for supporting me and loving these longer vlogs um, and just connecting with me and all my journeys and all my different things in life. It's really crazy right now, but overall, I'm really blessed and um, thankful for y'all's support. So I'll see y'all next week and bye.